What's going on guys? It's your boy Darren, the bow tie fragrance guy. I love looking good and I love to smell amazing. Today I'm going to do another installment of my Two Cents Tuesdays. Usually on my Two Cents Tuesdays I'm able to feature a fragrance that is a classic fragrance. Uh, in most cases that's been out for a long time. And I feel like it's appropriate that I come in and throw my Two Cents. In most cases I feel like that way because there's so many reviews already out there and it's been out for so long. That's all I can really do, give you my two cents on a fragrance. <sighs> That's not the case today. <laughs> this fragrance that I'm featuring today has only been out for about two months, but it has already been reviewed about 396 times. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It hasn't been reviewed that much, but it has been reviewed a lot. So I can only give you guys, although it's been out two months, my two cents on it. Okay, so this review is going to be for maybe the five, maybe six of you out there in the YouTube world that has not heard about this fragrance already. <clears throat> five or six is probably pushing it. But anyway, it don't matter, man. I'm still going to give you guys my take on it because I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I'm your brother, your cousin, your friend, W-A-R, the world ain't ready. Mr. A.K.A. Get the job done, Mr. Get her done. I'm just kidding. Enough with the adjectives. Enough with the nicknames. So if you guys want to hear my two cents on this fragrance, keep it locked right there. Okay guys, I'm back and thank you for keeping it locked in with me. As I said before guys, we're going to be talking about Mont Blanc Explorer today. Now, the big hype about this fragrance was that this is an Aventus clone. And I can say for, for a fact that this fragrance was inspired by Aventus. But I would not say that it is a clone of Aventus. Uh, let's get into talking about why I feel that way. Now, in my left hand, I have Aventus. In my right hand, I have Mont Blanc Explorer. I think it would be definitely wrong to say that these fragrances were not similar to some extent. But again, I say that this fragrance was inspired by Aventus, but it's definitely not a clone of Aventus. It would be hard to say that it wasn't inspired when you look at the actual bottle presentation. It has the black, kind of leathery feel, which is the same thing you kind of get from the Aventus bottle. It has the same color pattern as the Aventus bottle. The box, uh, which I don't have it right here, I have it, down, have it here, I have it upstairs. <clears throat> the box is very similar to the Aventus box in presentation. <clears throat> now, as far as the notes in this fragrance, what's inside of the box? This fragrance opens up with bergamot on the top and also it features a French sage note. Now. What's interesting about the note of sage, when used in perfumery, sage can come off as kind of herbaceous in some cases, camphorous in different situations, and also it can give a, a lemony type vibe in some scenarios, and that's how it's used in this fragrance. So that's where people draw the similarity to Aventus in the opening. The bergamot is used the same way that it's used in Aventus, and that sage note gives it that kind of lemony vibe. So that's where people start to really get that that kind of vibe what you get with Aventus with the fruity opening with the pineapple. Now, in the heart of this, there's the note of vetiver is listed, but I do not get much vetiver out of this fragrance. There are two notes on the base of this fragrance that dominate the fragrance. It is a, a form of ambroxan and akigalo. The other thing in this fragrance that makes people think about Aventus or that would draw comparisons to Aventus is the way the ambroxan and the akigalo wood is used. Of course, in Creed Aventus, there is ambergris. And of course, ambergris, uh, when used in fragrances, is kind of smooth, gives off that kind of salty uh, marine vibe. And ambroxan is a synthetic form of ambergris. So it kind of gives it a warm feel, not really that salty kind of marine thing that you get from ambergris, but it kind of puts you in the mindset of it, the way that it's utilized. And the, the Akigala wood. Now the Akigala wood comes off kind of woody and slightly peppery, and it can kind of give you to some degree the vibe of the, it kind of can, to some degree can kind of give you a slightly smoky vibe. And that's why people are kind of drawing comparisons between this and Aventus. 
but they do not really smell alike. There are a lot of notes in Aventus that are not used in Mont Blanc Explorer. So when this fragrance opens up, you kind of get that reminiscence from, again, the bergamot and the use of sage. Uh, it transitions to the heart, so about from the opening to about maybe 30 minutes or so into this fragrance, they do have similarities, but after that, they go in totally different directions. Uh, this drives down to a kind of, you know, kind of warm, slightly sweet, ambroxan, uh, woody type vibe where the event is you get that birch, you know, that dry birch, you get the vanilla and a lot of the other notes that are totally not present in this fragrance. So again, it's definitely inspired by Aventus, but it's definitely not a clone of Aventus. When I smell it from the bottle, I can smell Aventus from the bottle and you smell the quality. Uh, it's a little bit different with this fragrance, but at the end of the day, this fragrance only cost $98 for the 3.3 ounce. This size that I have here in my hand is a 2.5 ounce. I think it is, and this one is gonna run you $78. And then you have the smaller bo smaller bottle for sixty dollars. So you definitely can tell the difference in quality. So again, this is not a clone of Aventus, but it's definitely inspired by Aventus. Now, the fact that this fragrance uh, obviously was inspired by Aventus has proven to be, to some extent, a gift and a curse. Um, it's a gift because it had a lot of people talking about it, which of course was the intent. But it's kind of a curse because when a lot of people start to compare a fragrance like this to a fragrance like this and the quality is not really there, then a lot of people start to have negative things to say about the fragrance. So at the end of the day, I think this does smell good. Um, if you just kind of take the whole Aventus clone thing out of the picture and you just look at this fragrance for what it is and for what it costs, it's actually a very, very solid release from the house of Mont Blanc. But again, once you start compar comparing it to the King, it definitely fails in comparison. Now, there's a lot of talk about this fragrance as it relates to, is it worth it for you to go out and buy it? Guys, I, I can't tell you if it's worth it for you to go out and buy it. I can tell you that it is a solid fragrance. It does smell good. I can tell you that I've been wearing this and I have gotten compliments on this fragrance. But is it worth it to you or not? I can't really say. It just really depends where you are in your fragrance journey, and it really depends on your financial situation. Um, I never condone going out and trying to, you know, uh, buy fragrances um, and, you know, put yourself in a, in a bad spot financially just to be able to purchase a fragrance. So if you go out and smell it and you like it and you try it, then you can go ahead and, and, and pick it up. It is a solid release, you know, uh, but if you're looking for an Aventus clone, this is not it. Okay, now this fragrance right now, as I said again, $98 is the, the range on this fragrance as far as prices between $60 and $98. Now, of course, you know, um, it's been only out for a couple months, but in a few months it will hit the discounters and Mont Blanc fragrances usually go for between 30 to 50 bucks when it hits the discounters. So it's up to you whether or not you feel like it's necessary for you to go out and buy this now. Totally, totally up to you. But again, ultimately I would say it is on its own solid fragrance just not when it's compared to the king <laughs> okay guys that's my time thank you so much for tuning in and find out a little bit more about Mont Blanc Explorer don't forget to like comment subscribe and share my videos now why would you do that because I'm the bow tie fragrance guy I love to look good and I love to smell even better. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. Because I'll catch you flip side. Peace.